So in this video, we're going to talk about acidity. Um, we're going to talk about circling the most acidic compound, uh, acidic proton. You know, identifying the most acidic proton. Uh, uh, but generally, the acidity and and how you know can we define an acid as actually stronger or weaker? Right. So there's a checklist here that uh, you know we check off. Uh, you want to make sure you, these are actually, you know, checked off before you can say, okay, well, this is more acidic or this proton is more acidic, right? So you want to look at, and the first thing you actually do is actually draw the conjugate base. That That is just the first thing you do to determine if, you know, which proton is acidic or which is even the, the more acidic uh, compound given two or more, right? So you want to look at what atom the charge is on. Generally speaking, the more if you have a negative charge on the more electronegative atom, the more stable the conjugate base is, and therefore the more acidic the molecule may be, right? Or even acidic proton, the more that, that proton might be. That proton might be the more acidic. You want to look at resonance. Drawing the conjugate base, can it participate in resonance? Induction. This one is a little bit more tricky, but we're gonna review it. And lastly, orbital which we'll review a little bit. So I want to take an idea uh, and just a key look at the idea of atom, right? Now, this is acetic acid. This is actually, in fact, a very weak acid, but this is not my point. My point is to just show, can the molecule participate in some sort of resonance? So the conjugate base of acetic acid is actually, right, with an O minus here, right? And now you have three pairs of lone pair, right? And now, you know, you could potentially take two of these lone pairs, form a bond here, and kick this up right here, and have a minus charge on this one right here, right? So, that's just the idea of resonance in terms of acidity, right? So, let's look at something here. Now, they give us two, uh, you know, two molecules like this, and they say, okay, which is more acidic? How could we identify which is more acidic? Uh, based on the checklist we just went through, I'm just going to go ahead. Right? So again, remember we said that to determine the most acidic molecule, we have to draw the conjugate bases. Right? So the conjugate base for this, I will just keep my ring. All right, and don't be upset at my ring here. It's a little bit horrible. But it is what it is. Alright. The conjugate base of this, well, this proton is going to, well, this proton will be, will, will, will be, because we want to, we want to identify the, the carboxylic acid group, right? Alright. There's a carboxylic acid group, so, therefore, a proton, you know, might be plucked off there. It could also be plucked off here. But let's take a look at the, 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 the functional group first, right? If we lose a hydrogen here, obviously it's going to get a lone pair, which means that um, this oxygen now will get a minus charge. This oxygen will get a minus charge, right? And now we could actually participate this in resonance. We could fling this, this two, these two lone pairs in here, satisfy this oxygen to go to a formal charge neutral, and then fling this up here, which will give this oxygen a negative charge. Yes? How about the conjugate base of this one? All right. Again, looking at the carboxylic acid group, all right, we have an OH here, here, all right. We're gonna lose a, hyd lose a hydrogen, a proton, which will be put a minus charge on this oxygen, all right. Right, and then again, this could also participate in resonance, right? We could put a lone pair here and fling this up here and, 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 and you know, kind of stabilize the molecule by Locating that that negative charge there. Also, we could pluck off. We could have plucked off a hydrogen here. You know, we could pluck off a hydrogen here. Uh, we could pluck off a hydrogen here. So, 
the atom is satisfied because they're both electronegative. It's the the the, the, electro, the negative charges on the oxygen in both uh, you know molecules. So the atom is satisfied. They both participate in resonance. So how do we determine which is the more acidic molecule? Well, again, that's the idea of induction, right? Induction says that you know closer to a you know an acidic group, right? This is a carboxylic acid group. So you know this is a functional group in both you know molecule. There's an extra OH here bonded, all right, to the to the to the to, uh, to my ring. The induction says that the closer that other substituent of of the carbon chain is to the acidic group, the more acidic the molecule is, the more stable the conjugate base is. And so clearly, you could see that this, you know, alcohol right here, this this OH group is right, is way more closer. To this carboxylic acid group versus versus this OH group here. All right, so that's where induction makes a difference, and so in that case, this will be my more acidic group. And in fact, this is actually uh, salicylic acid, right? And this is actually pH, uh, you know, BA. Uh, which is just p-hydrobenzoic acid, right? And, and 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 in fact, if you actually, you know, in fact, if you actually look at the pKa, uh, you know, salicylic acid has a pKa of 3.0. Uh, this has an, uh, you know, a, a thing, a pKa of 4.6. And so, the lower the pKa is, the more acidic the molecule is. And 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 as you can see, it's based off the idea of induction in this case because they both participate in resonance they both have the negative charge on oxygen so induction is in fact the biggest reason why salicylic acid is actually uh, no more acidic than p hydrobenzoic acid all right so that's the idea of resonance atom uh induction i want to take a look at circling the most acidic proton Teacher gave me on this, this on a test, and I was like, "What the, you know what, All right?" So, again, it's the same idea of induction, resonance. The more negative the charges on on, and the more electronegative atom, the more conjugate, the more, the more stable conjugate base is. So again, the first thing you want to do in certain in identifying the most acidic proton is to draw the conjugate base. That's the first thing you do. So I'm going to draw the conjugate base of each of these. And remember, the most acidic proton is always H pluses, right? We define proton as H pluses, right? So therefore, this might be acidic proton. This might be my most acidic proton. Well, not including the hydrogen, not including the hydrogen, and and this here might be my so uh, not I'm sorry, not including the oxygen, and this over here might be my might be my most acidic proton. So let's draw the conjugate base of each. It will be helpful to know that this nitrogen has two lone pairs on there, right? So drawing the conjugate base, well, this nitrogen, right? This nitrogen is going to give away a hydrogen and pick up a lone pair. So the conjugate base for this part, for over here, looks something like this. Nitrogen with two lone pairs on there bonded to an hydrogen, right? Remember, it lost a hydrogen, right? And then we just draw a regular OH, right? Bonded to another OH and bonded to O, right? So that's the first one. Now, this, what's the formal charge of this nitrogen? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So five minus six is a minus one charge. So this nitrogen has a negative charge. How about this proton here, right? Rewrite our N2H, right? Or mean group with we'll a little pair, right? Now, this is going to give up. A hydrogen, which means that this oxygen now will have a formal charge of negative one, right? And then be, uh, just be aware of my drawing here is kind of horrible, but hope you get the gist, right? So now the negative charge is over here. We got one more proton here, all right? So let's look at that one again. The mean group is neutral. This now. 
hydroxyl group becomes neutral. This O right here. And this now loses a hydrogen, which means that it has gained a lone pair with a formal charge of negative one. So I drew the conjugate base of this, this, and this. Just basically plucking off each proton to find which is more acidic. And it turns out that this proton, this hydrogen here, or this H plus right here, will be more acidic. Well, why is that? Here's this conjugate base. I could take these little pair, plug it in here, and plug this up here, right? which will give this a minus charge. This could participate in resonance. The more resonance the conjugate base has, the more the more stable the, the, the molecule is, therefore, more acidic. Do you see with all these, when I plucked off a hydrogen off this amine group here, the, not, the negative charge is on the nitrogen. So immediately we could X this out because oxygen is more electronegative than the nitrogen. And so therefore, the, the negative charge being an oxygen should give us a signal that this could never be your answer because, again, the atom that we spoke about, the more electronegative the atom is, the better it is for that to contain. That could, you know, easily hold the negative charge better, right? So immediately we could see that this nitrogen would not work. So it was just a toss up between this proton down here and this, you know, and the proton over here. And again, once we pluck off this, we could have, you know, we could delocalize the negative charge on both these oxygen here. Over here, we can't. You see what I'm saying? Over here, we could form a double bond. But then again, we would be given, you know, we would be given hydrogen. We would be given carbon five bonds. Which is horrible, right? Can't happen. Because think about it. If we, you know, basically plucked off one of these lone pairs and stabilized that, that hydrogen, this now will become a double bond. Now remember, this carbon already had a hydrogen here, right? Well, it's not, they didn't, you know, it's organic chemistry, so we don't show hydrogen, but it already had a hydrogen here. So now we have two, four, six, eight, ten. Which is wrong. You can, you could never give carbon five bonds, right? Right. So, so this is the reason why this is actually the more acidic proton. So therefore, your answer will be this. All right. And let's look at the last one, orbital. Now, it's helpful to remember that, you know, around a central atom, the less hybridized it is, the more acidic it is. So. Um, you know, so so in other words, an sp3 hybridized, you know, you know, atom uh, in terms of acidity will be less than an sp2, which will be less than an sp, right? And so if you look at this here, this nitrogen is actually, you know, sp3 hybridized because you have, you know, what's the start number one, two, three, four? So it's have start number four. So this is sp3 hybridized. This nitrogen over here, one, two, three is actually sp2 hybridized and therefore this will be more acidic so this is what we talk about when we talk about orbitals so uh, looking at a lower structure like this you know and we could definitely turn into a bond line structure but looking at a structure like this um and, and you know they're asking you maybe which is a more acidic molecule this would actually be the more acidic molecule because of the fact that this nitrogen is actually sp2 hybridized